What is up gamers, my name is Priyam and welcome to a brand new video. What you see right here on my hand is my old GPU which is a GTX 1050 2GB DDR5 by Zotac that I got in 2017. Unfortunately though yesterday it just stopped working for some reason and I tried everything to fix it, tried it on a different PC as well but there was no signal. And so here we are with my brand new GPU. You guessed right, it's an RTX 3060 Ti that just came out like last week. And so in this video, I'll talk about everything about this GPU. And as you can see, the brand is Galax. I'll also talk about why I chose that. So let's begin. Alright, so first off, why did I choose Galax? You see, when you buy a graphics card, you try to get the Founders Edition. And when that is not in stock, you try getting something like MSI's or maybe Zotax or Gigabyte GPU and Galax is none of that. Well, there is a chance that you may not even have heard about this brand. But that does not mean that this GPU is bad in any way. And I chose it because number one, you get RGB on both of its fans, which is a thing that you get in expensive GPUs. Number two, you get the super convenient one-click overclocking. Trust me guys, I'm not sponsored by Galax or anything. And number three, there is literally no difference in the brands. It's all about the looks and if you're okay with that, you can go with Galax. Plus the GPU has good cooling too. So what really hesitated me in the beginning was this box. Like, is that some Watch Dogs character or something? It looks very immature. But once again, it doesn't matter. This is the all new 3060 Ti. That's all that matters. 8 gigs of GDDR6, 1.67 gigahertz boost clock and 4864 CUDA cores. You're getting all of that. So nothing else matters. However, speaking of all this, let's talk about the price of this thing. Now, I paid 42,000 Indian rupees for this thing. For what I got in this price was definitely worth it. But the retail price of this thing is supposed to be 35,000 rupees. And paying a lot more just to get it earlier was definitely not a healthy thing for my wallet. But I still don't regret it very much because I'm sure that these stocks are gonna come in at least mid 2021. And just to mention, I got it from primeabgb.com, not sponsored either, but whatever. Alright now, so let's move on to the unboxing part and see what this box has to offer inside. So as soon as you get rid of the ugly Watch Dogs box outside, you get this really nice looking premium black colored box. And inside of it, you get the GPU obviously wrapped in a plastic. And the other one is a cable to connect the GPU to the motherboard to control the RGB in the fans. And that's actually pretty much it. Let me take out the GPU and show it to you now. The fans, as you can see, has written Galax on it. And once again, it has RGB. On the side, as you can see, there is a text that can glow that reads, what's your game? And there is GeForce RTX text right there. Other than that, you get the power connector, 8 pin one, and the other one is the RGB connection slot. On the connection side, you get three display ports and one HDMI. It should be more than enough for everyone. And just to let you know that this will take two slots from your case. Speaking of which, after this, I started installing the GPU on the case. And once again, I asked my brother for some help because this time we had to take out the power supply because this GPU takes external power unlike my other one. It took some time, but once again, it was fun and we got to do it perfectly. However, the problem came in when I had to boot my PC after this for the first time. Computer. Computer. Turn on the PC. However, don't worry, it didn't explode this time. It was actually just a software issue which was not allowing me to install the driver for this GPU and it literally took me hours to figure it out because once again, it is a new GPU, you wouldn't find much articles about it. Now all I had to do here was to turn off the PCI 4.0 mode and switch it to PCI 3.0. Now I very well know that the motherboard and this GPU both support 4.0 but there is some software issue right now since once again, this GPU is new and should be fixed in a few months or few days. And there is literally no difference between PCI 3 or 4 in terms of FPS as of now. And speaking of FPS, I'm not gonna do like heavy benchmarks where you can see processor load and stuff like that. I'll just record it through my phone's camera so that there is no impact on the game's performance. And the first game, as you can see, is CSGO and we're averaging around 300 FPS here, which is very good. And all of the settings are set to low because that's how I play CSGO. And once again, my monitor is 1080p 144Hz. 
And the next game is none other than Cyberpunk 2077. Everything is set to ultra, including the ray tracing, which is awesome. And it's not me, it's my brother playing it. And we're averaging around 60 to even more than 80 FPS sometimes. And this next game is Doom Eternal. I even tweeted about this one on my Twitter, make sure to follow me there. But as you can see, everything is set to ultra, even the HDR is on and we are averaging around 200 to 300 FPS here. Sometimes it gets a little below 200, but that's it. The next game is Fortnite and everything is set to max, including ray tracing. And I'm averaging around 100 to 110 FPS and DLSS is also on by the way. And that is pretty much it. This is how my GPU is looking right now. And before you judge the ugly looking Apple sticker here, it was on the other side. I only have this glass here because the glass of this side exploded. If you don't know, you can watch the video in the description. But yes, that is it. I might upload a more detailed video later, but this is it for now. Make sure to comment down below your opinions on this card and anything. If you have to ask me, make sure to join my Discord or just comment down below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like before you go. I'll see you all in the next one.